Hi everyone. So given the current situation, uh, we have decided to try out a new method of recording with the four of us staying at home. And um, today we will be looking at different well, country names in different languages. So the first one where we all are is Germany. In Hungarian, Germany is called Németország. Ország means land. It's going to come up a few times. What? <laughs> <laughs> in, in Malay, it sounds really similar. It's German without the E. So German. Oh, it does. So in French, um, it is L'Allemagne, which sounds very different. <laughs> yeah, very different. <gasps> okay. Okay, so the next one is where I'm from, which is the United Kingdom. So in Hungarian, it is quite literally means United Kingdom. Egyesült Királyság. Okay, this is the hard, hard part. We don't usually use United Kingdom. I mean, we just say UK, like in English. But we do have a word for it. it is, this is very long, so I have to read it. It's Kerajaan Bersatu Britain Raya dan Irland Utara, which is basically the full thing of um, Great Britain and North Ireland. Yeah. Very and in French, we say Le Royaume-Uni, so literally the United Kingdom. The next one is where Emma is from France. Uh, that's quite similar in Hungarian, quite surprisingly. Francia was tag. And in Malay, it is Perantjes. Perantjes. Wow. Okay. Sounds very different. different. In French, it is La France. La France. Nice. Okay, next one is where Petra's from. Hungary. I don't know what to say. You should all know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The funny thing is, I never learned this country name in Malaysia. <laughs> so... Very significant, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so, um, it is spelled exactly the same. And because I don't really know how it is pronounced, I pronounce it how I read it. That's how Malay language is. So I say Hungari. 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 That's how Hungarians say it when they speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. And in French, it's, it sounds quite similar actually to Malaysian. It's La Hongrie. Ooh, Hongrie. Next one is where Melbourne is from. Malaysia. Okay, we have a slightly different pronunciation, but it's basically the same. Malaysia. Oh, that is very similar to us then. It's Malaysia. Ah, okay, so nothing too different. In French, it's la Malaisie. What? <laughs> la Malaisie. La Malaisie. But that's the most different one out of the, the four. Really? Yeah, oh, that is weird. <laughs> but it's still very, very similar. Like, it's not completely different letters. Yes, that's true. Okay. Okay, next one is Latvia. We say left or sag. Left or sag. So the first letter is the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's another country name I don't use very often. So it's Latvia. I don't think that's a different. Ah, that's yeah. very similar. And in French, we say la litonist. That's cute. <laughs> that's really cute. Okay. Okay, next one is Greece. This sounds similar, slightly different um, vowels. We say Guruk or Sag. That's similar? <laughs> well, Orsag <laughs> is a land or country, so Guruk and Greece and you know, Greek, is, it's similar, I think. It's the, the G and the R. <laughs> it's all similar to me. It's very easy to memorize it when I learned it in English. So. Yes, exactly. Like it took it took me some time to put the Malay word for Greece together with the English one. In Malay, it's Yunani. Oh wow! <laughs> it's more similar than that. Thank you very much. Yeah, more similar than that, but still not that similar. <laughs> well, in French, it's probably the most similar. Then it's La Grèce. Yeah. Yeah. Spelled yeah. slightly differently, but. <laughs> okay, next one is the United States of America. USA. Um, 
Well, sometimes we in South USA say USHA, which is just the letters, the same letters. Or officially, it's called Amerikai Egyesült Államok, which literally means American United States. I see. Okay. The funny thing is, we don't have the word United States as the name for America. We say America Sharika, which translates to America Company. <laughs> oh wow, company! Interesting. That says it all. That says it all. <laughs> um, in French, it's again a literal translation, so it's les um, les États-Unis d'Amérique. Amérique. Yeah. Mm. Okay, last one, the Netherlands. Um, we say Hollandia. Ah, uh, okay, makes sense. Is that the we old name we used to use because we used to call it Holland. Holland, yeah. Yes. And I think the Malay word kind of gets it from Holland. We call it Belanda. Belanda. Yes. So I don't know what that <laughs> And in French, it's Le Pays Bas. What? But again, Le Pays Bas. Uh, but again, you would also say, I mean, people would understand La Hollande, so that's what you would have used to Le Hollande. Le Pays Bas. Yeah. Okay. Well, it literally means that the, it's the land that's below. Uh, so kind of like the, the current meaning. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a, like, again, a sort of literally, literal type translation. Mm. Okay. Cool. Interesting. But all the French one has, has, has the article in front. The, like, the yeah, you or... almost always have an article uh, for countries. Uh, yeah, and it's quite important actually to know whether it's la or le, and sometimes it's an apostrophe if you have a <laughs> uh, if you start if the country name starts with um, a vowel. Wow. Okay. No vowel. Interesting. <laughs> and sometimes it's le, sometimes it's plural. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh yeah, just kind of like German then. Like the United States. Yeah, the States. Yeah. yeah. And what do you call these countries in your language? Okay. Francis said like we we wanted to look at country names just short of not being able to visit them or yeah. <laughs> I like that. We're, we're looking at all the countries we're not visiting this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah. That makes me really sad. Yeah. But, it's funny. Well then, how many do you? How many do you? So the first one, which is where we all are, is Germany. Oh, we didn't decide how it's going to say. Köszönjük a megnéztétek a videónkat. Támogatásért mi kell? Én hazudok fel. Ne felejtsétek el a csengőt.